Tonight on Up Late, Rebecca takes a closer look at the first set of COVID related injury claims that have been filed and why some believe the CICP needs to do a better job of keeping the public informed. A Gwinnett County youth baseball travel team raffling an assault rifle to help raise money and it's raising some concerns among parents. 11 Alive's Doug Richards has more. An official with the Gwinnett Bandits told us that raffling an AR-15 isn't intended as a political statement, but to merely help fund the kids' travel team. Youth baseball has costs that include buying equipment and uniforms. To help pay for it, the Gwinnett Bandits posted on its Facebook page that it will raffle an AR-15 assault rifle and a Yeti cooler as part of its spring fundraiser. Veronica Pennington, the mother of a six-year-old, says she thinks the rifle is a lousy idea. And that a deadly weapon um, is equivalent to a cooler, which is mind-boggling to me. Um, and so not only is it insensitive and considerate, it's dangerous. But a league official told 11 Alive News that the winner of the gun would have to be an adult who would pass a background check. If people want an AR-15 and are legally allowed to own it, I don't see a problem with that, said Dean Craven. This fundraiser is going to help a lot of kids play the game they love. Georgia politicians wanting to show their Second Amendment chops will sometimes raffle an AR-15 to raise campaign money. Craven says this is merely intended to equip a youth travel baseball team. 